What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here and today I got you something special. We are we have a new farming game that just came out. Um, I'm not sure if it's quite out yet or if it's it should be really really close to coming out like maybe within a few hours as of posting this. It is called Pure Farming 2018. Um, a bunch of people probably already know about this game. It's been it's been re uh, not released, but it's been in beta for a bit. It's been tons of videos. Um, I think a bunch of bigger YouTubers have already played this game and are not played it. They've shown it off a little bit, but I finally got it and I'm going to be showing you guys um, everything I can do. Uh, so you got these three modes starting out really quick. I'll show you guys my first farm farming challenges and then free farming. So free farming is just like farming simulator. Uh, you can go and do whatever you like. Uh, they say this for advanced players just makes sense because you haven't really done anything yet. Uh, farming challenges is kind of something that helps you figure out how things work. Um, it is extended and is intended for experienced players. Uh, you can go through here. Um, the big thing about this this game is you got multiple multiple spots. So you got Montana, Colombia, Italy, Japan, um, and then you also have Germany with the DLC. Uh, if you pre-order the game um, or you get the deluxe edition, I don't think I have that quite yet, but I will be getting it. Um, but so that's what you got for now. We're just gonna start with my first farm. So we're just gonna hop right into this. My grandpa was a hardworking man. He loved his farm. It was his whole life. When I spent my holidays with him, he would let me help with all the work in the fields. At that time, I didn't realize that he was slowly inspiring me with his passion. The years passed, and I saw my grandpa less and less. I wanted to get away and go to the countryside as often as I could. Unfortunately, my dad was opposed to it. He thought that agriculture had no future, and that I'd only waste my time. And so my grandpa died before a decent successor stepped in. He left an open will and a debt-ridden farm. It seems that nobody wants to leave their urban comforts behind. I'm the only person who wants to save my family heritage. I'm not quite sure how to explain it, but in my heart, I'm sure I can do it. I have no doubt I'll be getting my hands dirty at the beginning. There's no time to waste. Let's get to work. Yeah, let's go. All right. So here we are, loading screen. This is this is looking really, really good so far. I'm really excited. Um, so we're gonna start out, and we'll be starting from nothing, working our way up. I know we. So like it said in the beginning, we'll have a ton of debt. Uh, well, we won't have too much equipment. It'll be a small little farm. Hopefully, though, we'll expand our empire, and we'll just become a huge, huge, huge farm. I think when I say expand our empire, I think we can actually expand out to different countries too. So it looks like we start here in third person. So press V. All right, so it looks like V opens up our tablet and our emails. Okay, bank loan. All right, Gorilla Man 15, your grandfather's debt, which you took over a long time ago with a legacy has been formally assigned to your bank account and to the amounts of, holy crap, $275,000. All right, that's quite a bit, but I'm honestly convinced that you'll pay it off sooner than you think. For now, this is your main objective. Of course, it will require a lot of effort and skills in the running of the farm. In order to make it easier for you to manage the loan, I'm developing an application adapted to your tablet. Once it is ready, I'll be able to repay the amount anytime. Okay, so the minimum amount is $27.50. Um, of course, you can get more loans if you believe it is necessary, but keep in mind that your debt will grow. Act prudently as you use funds for only profitable investment projects. All right, so this is basically telling us uh, you owe a crap ton of money. <laughs> Um, this is your minimum payment and you can still take out more loans, but only take out your loans for things that you really need that are going to help you be profitable um, on your farm, which makes sense. It makes total sense. Uh, movement, WASD, left shift for walking. Uh, makes sense. All right. So what do we got here? So start, time, day, temperature, US dollars. Oh, so we got US dollars, not euros. XP. Uh, sapphires collected number of windmill. Oh, so this is like awesome. Oh, like farming simulator. This is like gold nuggets this is sapphires. I like it Fields windmills greenhouses. Okay, it's looking sick uh, statistics Fields greenhouses, so it just tells you everything. Oh, this is so cool. I like this. I like the tablet feel Functionalities tasks we're working on go outside player status Okay it's looking pretty good. Encyclopedia. So this is like our help, our how-to. Renewable energy, solar farms, wind tournaments. Okay, this is going to be good. This is going to be a great game. I can already tell. All right, so heavy to put that away. Um, so this is like... Was this Grandpa's house here? Uh, I can open this. So toggle controls, F6. 
Dog R controls, hide menu, F1. We'll leave that open though. Um, to change your time is K and L. All right, not too bad. All right. So, you can skip the night by walking to that waypoint. So go to the indicated location, find the potato storehouse, and go to the shed. All right, I do like this running feature. I don't know if you can do first person, but I guess I'm kind of digging this third person feel. All right, so find the potato storehouse. So we can M for map. Oh, all right, we received a couple emails. Let's check our emails really quick. All right, so navigation, uh, that was easy, yup. Uh, Montana's pretty expansive. I know the most crucial element in the mini-map is located in the lower left corner, mini-map. Uh, big map. Uh, potato house. And to use it in the map window. E, and you can set your first waypoint. Navigation, WSD. Ooh, you can teleport. Okay. That's pretty nice, actually. I like that. Uh, hit V to get out of here. Go back to our map. Alright, so... Potato shed. Uh, where is it? Okay, we'll teleport to our shed. So we click F to teleport. Okay, that was pretty easy. So our potato storehouse. Well, this shed is lit up pretty, uh, okay. But obviously this is not a potato storehouse. Let's see here. Maybe they want us to run around and explore for this first little beginning part here. Okay, we got forks. We got some front loader attachments landing there. This isn't the potato storehouse, is it? Uh, granary, egg warehouse, large grass storage. Um. Watch this one. Potato storehouse. There we are. All right. So we need to set a marker for this. Markers are E. And then we will run that way. All right. So you get a nice little mini map here. Ooh, and it's in yards. Okay. So I like this is all in like U U.S. conversion. Because a lot of you guys watching here are from the U.S. Uh, we got a small amount from like Canada and whatnot. Um, but yeah. I wonder if we can jump over this fence. Nope. We got to go around. All right. That's fine with me. All right. Oh, man, this game looks gorgeous. So I am playing this game on the highest settings I can, uh, which is maxed out uh, with a 2K monitor. So it, it should look pretty good for you guys, too. That's the hope. So here we are. Go to the shed. We've got a little achievement for that. All right, now go to the shed. Why do they have us run all the way out here to the potato area? Then go back to the shed. You're here. I see you managed to find the place. Congratulations. You're not familiar with the movement and navigation system. It's high time that you checked your equipment. Your grandfather managed to leave you. All right. Let's uh, let's teleport back here. Um, boom, we are back. All right, so completed. You've received two new emails. So this is gonna be a huge email-based game, I assume. Sheds, sheds are used to store machinery that is not currently being used. You can also deliver, deliver, blah, newly purchased machinery to your sheds. All right. Okay, so tablet's useful for that. Um, wear and tear vehicles. This is important, everybody. This is super important. So all the vehicles that you can drive are subject to wear and tear, but you can repair them. The Zetor or Zeter, uh, which you inherited from your grandfather, is parked underneath the shelter, but unfortunately, it's rather poor technical condition. It must be repaired, so you have to take it to a workshop. Uh, your grandfather made a good choice by always having a workshop on the farm. Oh, oh, Grandpa knew best. And it seems like he knew how important it is to take care of the vehicles. You surely know something is to break. Okay. Smart man. Smart man grandpa was. All right. Let's hop in this. Oh, this thing purring like a kitten. That thing popped right up. Oh, did you just drive right? Oh, oh, this is sick. Okay, I'm digging this. So hop out. We got a tire balancing machine and everything. Ooh, man, this is looking good. Okay, so open. So, vehicle diagnostics. It goes to the right here to functionalities. And I guess vehicle diagnostics. 
Repair all. Alright, check some emails. So, driving vehicles, easy. Uh, mechanics, computer. Yep, we just used that. Regular inspections. Tractor is ready to work. It's a good con It's good to conduct inspections regularly and take care of your vehicles. If not repaired, your vehicles will use up more gasoline and they are harder to steal. Makes sense. Well, and they're slower. No trailers can be attached. All right, if I were you, I would check the combine to find out if you need any necessary repairs. The decision is up to you. All right, so this this right here means it's optional. Head to head with machine. If you're not drive a vehicle, you also know how to take care of your machines so they don't let you down while working. Now it's high time to get to we got your job done. We got the job done. Uh, you've probably noticed that the crops in the field are who they are. Okay, okay, sounds good. All right, so let's. Uh, they want us to get in the common harvest. Now, there's no tabbing around in this. So you got to run to your vehicle or uh, teleport over to it, hop in it. You can't just tab around super easy, which kind of kind of a bummer. Won't lie. Oh, hey there. All right, how is this guy doing? Here, we're going to switch this one out really quick. We're gonna switch this guy out for this one. I want to get that guy in the shop and make sure he is good and ready to go. We'll throw this back over here. I love the vehicles in this, though. They're super responsive. Super, super, super responsive. They're, they're working pretty good. All right. Hop in. Where are we at? There we go. All right, let's see if we can work on this guy in here. Yes, we can. All right, so 86% engine, everything pretty good. So you can, re you can repair certain things. If you're afraid one thing's gonna give up before the other, you can hit it up with that repair. We're just gonna repair all because we're starting new and we want to. Uh, G attach, all right, sounds pretty easy. Sounds pretty self-explanatory. All right, we are gonna back this puppy out. And whip it around, and we got to do our front attach. Oh, this is so loud. This is incredibly loud. All right, and Z's looks like it's a oh, Z. Oh, that's how piping out moves. You got to move your mouse with it, too. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, pulling up right here. And then right in the bottom, it says attach. So we are attached, and now we got a new email. Check the email real quick. I'm sure I don't really need to attach it. Okay, so then you can detach it. Okay. And now we need to drive over to our fields. This is a tiny little field, probably just something they want us to get started on. All right, so we will learn how to harvest in this real quick, pretty easy. Should probably go the other way, that'll be way less rows we have to make but I'll just follow what the game wants all right so work uh, turn the harvesting mechanism on move the device down oh that's a lot you got to do for just that one thing all right so for just that one guy there oh a little laggy there so just to get this thing going, you gotta drop it down, turn it on, open up the hatch, and everything. So we got, they want us to go through and harvest all these crops. All right, guys, I'm gonna go through and harvest all these crops really, 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 really quick, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I hit like almost halfway. I think we're a little bit over halfway. Okay, so if you sit in your field, it shows you field number three, it's your property. It shows you what's plowed, what's cultivated, what's... Oh, this is so cool. All right, there's so much information in this game. All right, so I got a lot of stuff. Don't ex uh, just don't look at my really bad rows there. Uh, we're gonna hop in the tractor. I think they want us to grab a tipper and they want us to go empty that guy really quick, which is what we're gonna need to do because it's pretty pretty full. I think it has like six thousand, seven thousand uh, bushels in there or something like that. All right, we'll back it out and pick up this trailer. This tractor is super responsive and I absolutely love it. I can't lie. There we go. So now we got to pour the crops onto the trailer. So we'll have to pull up next to the trailer, 
and then we will have to hop in to our harvester. Okay, yeah, so it shows you right here. So it shows you everything you gotta do. I wonder if this does anything bad with the straving over it. It does not look like it's doing anything too bad. All right. It gets a little laggy when you hop out. Maybe I should crank my graphics down a little bit. I don't know. Not sure yet. So now, um, pipe movement, hold Z. Oh, there we go. All right, so that's just going out of here. We're gonna lower the uh, graphics really quick. We're gonna lower our ooh, texture, and okay, there we go. Wait for those to apply. Oh, there we go. All right, the game still looks great. No need to worry about that. All right. So, okay, so this guy's completely empty. Turn him back over, and then we gotta move our tractor out of the way. Uh, we'll move it off to the side because we're gonna need it. So this is at 7,000 pounds right now. I can't believe that. This, there's no way that this thing has 7,000 pounds worth of grain in it. There's no way. Absolutely no way. All right, hop in this guy. So, start harvesting. Oh, that gets so loud. All right. And work. And she's off. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish harvesting all this one and be right back. All right, okay, so I've now finished everything and the entire field is harvested. So we are going to hop out and we're gonna run over here and hop in our tractor. I almost got stuck back there actually and I ran into a little bit of an issue but I managed to wedge myself out of there. Um, oh, in the upper left hand corner guys, it also shows how many days that I've been on the farm. So we're on our first day. Um, it's almost, it's getting pretty late now. It's getting about eight o'clock at night. So we're gonna try and get this over here and get the uh, crops transported, transported to the granary as soon as possible uh, so we can hit the hay and uh, go to bed for the night. Irrigation, 90%. All right, so we should be maxing out this guy right now. So pull up right there. All righty. Hop in this guy. Oh, you got to hop in the sides. Of course you do. It's pretty realistic, actually. All right. Mm, come on. Ah, we're stuck. Okay. Wait, can we not enter from the side? Uh, let's try the other side. I know you can enter from this side pretty easily. Yep, there you go. All right, so X, and then just, uh, no, not X. Pipe Z, ah, that's what it is. All right, so let's pipe it into this. All right, so we got, I think we will have filled this entire thing. We got 2,000 pounds left. Ah, perfect. All right, so the container's been emptied. Um, so hit Z, pull it back over. We'll hop out, all righty. Looking good. Whoa, all right, there we go. So now we need to transport our crops to the granary. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, look, all the lights kicked on when it hit uh, nighttime. So, is our granary inside the shed here? It appears to be. Oh, that's sick, okay. Let's pull up right here. Now we will, oh, we can upgrade in here. We'll drop it. Oh, that's slow. All right, so we're dropping about 14,000 pounds worth of grain into our granary. Level up. So granary can hold wheat, rye, and barley. 4% full right now. That is not bad. All right, so now we got to transfer crops from the silo, sell 13,000 pounds of crops at the purchase center. All right, so we're already gonna be making back some money in this first episode here. All right, we'll take some wheat. I mean, that was kind of pointless for us to empty and empty it back in, um, but We'll go with it, we'll go with it. So now we gotta sell these crops. 
We gotta go a thousand yards. All right, well, here we go. All right, everybody, so we are here at the crop uh, purchase center. Oh, crap. Let's, uh, let's back this puppy up and go the other way. See what our turning radius is like? Oh, that's not quite good enough. All right, maybe just about. There we go. All right, I didn't want to go across the railroad tracks because I was kind of worried there because there's a bunch of traffic piled up, but it's fine. All right, so it looks like we're going to be selling at South Country Elevator Corporation. So we'll just roll up here. All right, there we go. H to sell. H is the drop too, so same thing. All right, now let's watch our money pour in. So we're selling 13,800 and some pounds worth of the crop here, which is wheat. Oh, wow, we did not get much money for that. Oh, wow. We got $3,000. All right, let's check our check our emails. Can you mark these all as red? Okay, make sure you refill your vehicles at gas stations. Uh, park next to them and press I to pump. All right, selling grain, which did all of this. I'm just gonna go through and make sure all these are marked. All right. Grillman, I have installed a new shop application on your tablet. It will give you access to the banking tool mentioned earlier. It will help you manage your bank loans. Thanks to additional tools in this application, you'll be able to buy and sell agricultural produce, check the current stock price. Oh, wow, you can do stock market prices or order fuel for your machinery. Remember that using this service will be 20 to 50%. Oh my gosh, that's way expensive. All right, well, let's go check it out then. Agricultural resources, you can buy wheat. 20% higher, 20%, 20%. Oh, wow, so we can... So we have the stock market. We can we can corner the stock market in wheat prices, everybody. That sounds pretty funny. Oh, fuel's outrageous. Okay. They're just going to try and rake the money in on fuel in the bank application. Uh, we can just contract a loan. I'll pay off this first loan installment. Pay the loan installment, pay off the whole loan. All right, so we'll just pay installments a little bit at a time. Okay. All right, not too bad. Now we have to drive to the store, buy the Sipma, and do a bunch of stuff for water. All right, guys, well, we're going to wait, and we're going to cycle through this to be daytime, but we will do that all that in the next episode. All right, so I'm really digging this game so far. I hope you guys are too. We got a little taste of it. It's pretty realistic. Um, it is nighttime already too, which is crazy. We weren't even playing for that long, um, but it is pretty realistic, so I'm loving it. Uh, let me guys, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section, and I will absolutely love to hear what you guys are thinking. This map is huge. There's so much for us to do on this. I mean, look, there's all this area to explore, and we just touched this little 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 spot here, like this right there. It's there's so much to do. I'll leave a comment down below. Let me guys, let me know if you guys are gonna get this game. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm really looking forward to making series on this, so I hope you guys are too. If you guys aren't yet, hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more content, more daily content of this and Farming Simulator, and then hit the like button if you guys are loving this, because I know I am. But anyways, guys, I'll see everybody in the next video.